Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'll be showing you Crew AI flows. We'll be talking about the significance of these flows, how you can set it up, and mainly why do we need this concept, Crew AI flows. So first of all, you need to understand, Crew AI flows are important if you are creating AI workflows. Okay, so what is this AI workflow? So let me take an example. So in the previous video, we had created a crew, okay? And we called it as marketing crew. But if you see that is not a marketing crew, it, it cannot handle marketing end to end. So if you are thinking of creating an AI agent system or an AI app that can handle the complete marketing for you, that crew which we created in the last video cannot do it. It can only do five to 10% of the work because that crew that we created had three agents First agent was content researcher, researcher, right? The second agent that we had was the content writer, right? It was the writer. And the third agent that we had in the crew was the reviewer. So can you see over here, can these three agents are enough for handling the complete marketing for a company? No. So we can say that this is just a crew and we can, you know, call it, call it as content curation crew. Okay. So this is just one single crew. It is not a marketing workflow. It is not an AI workflow. Okay. So understand the difference between a crew and a AI workflow, because in the documentation, in the documentation of crew, you will see under flows, learn how to create and manage AI workflows using crew AI flows. Okay. So we have now learned how to create a crew till the previous video. Now understand if you want to handle a uh, complete marketing for a company or a client using AI agents, then you need to have, or you must have multiple crews in your system. So this was one simple crew, which can curate content for you, right? But in a marketing AI workflow, just content curation is not enough. You need to publish the content also, right? So content publishing crew. Okay or uh, one second, yes, content publishing crew. Because in marketing, you have to curate the content, you have to publish the content, you have to monitor the content, what is working, what is not working. If any leads are coming, then you have to handle those leads also. So there's a complete workflow. But for this particular use case, let's say that there is in our marketing AI workflow, we only have content curation and we have content publishing. At least our content can go out with the help of AI agents if we create this workflow. Okay, so from that workflow, this crew AI flows is coming. So crew AI flows are important when you when you want to have multiple crews in your AI system or when you are creating an end-to-end -end AI workflow. Okay, so for content publishing crew, the first one will be uh, SEO checker because before you publish your content, you need to check the SEO score for your content. If it is good, the meta titles, uh, the tags, what is, uh, what, uh, like which all, uh, SEO terms will be good, which all keywords will be good. So for that, right. So SEO checker, uh, will be the first agent in this content publishing crew. The second one will be publisher, right. The agent that can publish the content on your blog website or on GitHub or on social media or on medium, right. Anywhere. So it is, this is going to be your publisher and the third one will be your notifier notifier, right, which actually sends an email to all the subscribers of your content that hey, we have published a new content, please read this, right. So if you do this, and you, you can also understand that this content publishing crew will only work once it receives the output or output from the previous crew, or it understands by somehow that the crew, the previous crew, the content curation crew has completed its task. So that thing we do using states. So let me take it over here. Okay. Uh, let's remove this. So we also have a con uh, concept of having a state and this state can be accessed by any of the crew, right? So this state remains a global variable or global uh, memory kind of thing, right? So that any crew can update this state and any crew can also read this state. So this is important because what will happen flow and this state exists at the flow level, right? It does not exist at the crew level. So, uh, as soon as we have received the final content from content curation crew, the, that blog markdown will get updated in the state, right? And as soon as that blog variable in the state gets updated, 
This content publishing crew will understand that the previous crew has completed its task and now I can pick up that blog and I can do the SEO checking, publishing and notifying on that blog piece, on that content piece. So this is how uh, crews communicate, can communicate with each other, right? Using, uh, with the help of states, okay? And the complete thing, and yes, they can be multiple crews, uh, the complete thing is called a flow, okay? And using crew UI flows, you can create such systems. So let's quickly go through this documentation because it is very good. I read through it and then we'll just try to uh, take a simple example. Okay. So learn how to create manage AI workflows using two AI flows. Uh, you can use, you can create simplified workflow creation, state management, event driven architecture. This means that as soon as uh, like this crew completes its task that acts as an event for the another crew and then the another crew gets triggered. So that is called event driven architecture, flexible content flow, control flow, and then over here like this. So these two methods are very important in a flow. So like this, you create a flow. Okay. You define a class flow and then you define which model you want to work with. Then these two methods start and listen. Okay. These are very important because the start decorator will hold the function, uh, which will contain the first step that needs to be done. And definitely the first step, uh, might not always be the triggering of a crew. It can also be a simple, uh, LLM call like this. And I'll come, uh, I'll scroll down and I'll show you like how the, how such system can be built using flow, but just a minute. So over here, what is happening in this flow? The first, the flow gets triggered by calling an LLM call, uh, by calling the LLM. It receives a response and then you can see it updates a state. Okay. So the question was from the LLM, return the name of a random city in the world. And it is going to return your city name. As soon as we get the city name, we update the state. Okay. And as soon as the state is updated, you see over here, the next function, the next decorator at listen. And this listen is going to listen to this function generate city. And you see, we have the same function name generate city, right? So as soon as this generate city returns something, this listener or this function will automatically understand that now it's its chance to get triggered because the previous function has done its processing and it's done, right? And now using the state, we can actually get that generated city and we can generate a fact about that random city. You see random city, we can get it. So like this, and here we did not have crews, but over here, instead of this LLM calls, we can also have multiple crews. Okay. So let me, let me scroll, scroll it down. And yes, using this uh, crew UI flows, you can also generate the diagram. So first one was generate city. The second uh, function was generate fun fact. And both of these two are the parts of the same crew UI flow. Okay. So yes, we have start, we have listen. You already understood the meaning of these two. We have flow output. Yes, yes, yes. This is all good. State we already understood. So we can also have a state class. I'll show yes over here. So this is the state class. So over here, the flow gets, uh, the flow is getting created, but over here, this is a state which holds two variables counter and the message. And these two variables will get updated as the flow functions will run and generate something. Okay. So like this, this is three step flow, first method, second method, third method, right? And these arrow shows that the second method is listening to the first method and third method is listening to the second method. Okay. Flow persistence is using state itself. You can just give it a lighter light read. And now let me show you crew. Let me show it to you where it is. Adding crews to flow. So first of all, this is the command using which we can create a flow in crew. So let me just copy it. Go to my VS code, activate my virtual environment. Okay. It is already activated and let me come out of marketing crew and I'm in learn crew folder. I'll paste it. Crew, I create a flow and let's call it as poem flow because I see in the example, they are creating some kind of poem crew basically. So let's, let's call it as, or let's call it as sample flow. Okay. Let's see what we get. Flow is created now a flow will have a crews folder. Okay. So you see, you see, can see the folder structure that will get generated. Now this flow sample flow will have multiple crews. Okay. So if I show you the source folder crews folder, and in this crew, we can have multiple crews. So currently, as you can see, as you can see, we only have one crew, but you can have multiple crews inside this flow. Like in our case, we had the content curation flow and we had the content 
publishing uh, sorry content curation crew and we had content publishing crew okay so you can have multiple crews in this uh, folder okay but for now let's keep it simple and uh, let's have this poem crew so in this poem crew you have again agents and task so we only have one agent which is the poem writer and this is the task there is no tool for now and in the main uh, in the in, in the poem crew.py we again we have already covered this so we have a poem crew which is decorated by this decorator we have this agent and task and we are getting the agents and tasks from the configuration files right then we define the agent poem writer we define the task the write poem task and then we have a crew which actually runs and writes a poem okay so this is like one simple crew okay now in the main.py you are not directly running that poem crew okay so first of all you have a state this state has two variables one the sentence count let's say you wanted to have some limit on the sentence count of the poem then using this variable you will be able to control that let's say a crew like poem crew returned a poem which had like let's say 100 lines but your limit was 50 lines then you can again ask the crew to regenerate a poem with this feedback okay so you have the poem so this here the final poem will get stored then we have the poem flow a poem yes poem flow which actually is um, also taking this poem state in context so that we can save the variables or the data that is generated in this poem state and then we have the start and we have the listen right we already know the significance of these two start will be the first uh, thing that gets triggered when a flow gets triggered right so it will print generating sentence count then it will initialize it with 5 or like any random integer between 1 to 5 okay then the second one because this listen you can see generate sentence count it is listening to the previous the first function as soon as this uh, state will get updated this uh, function the generate poem will get triggered okay so it will print generating poem and this this one this listener like uh, the second function generate poem this one is going to trigger the crew so like this as we have already uh, understood like how you trigger a crew you create an instance of the crew then you say dot crew then dot kick off and then you provide the inputs sentence count like hey of this much these many sentence like these many uh, sentences i need to create a poem and as soon as you generate the poem you get it in the result and then you update the state back you say self dot state dot poem is equal to result dot raw and your poem will get stored in this state right now you can also have another listen like another decorator which is now listening to this generate poem you see generate poem so this one will get triggered as soon as my state of the poem will get updated okay because i can only save a poem once my poem is generated so save poem will only get triggered once the generate poem function is over so i'll just create a text file and i'll save that poem in a text file now you can have you can just have multiple uh, functions also over here right so you see i just created two more and these two more can be triggering more crews let's say you wanted to have a publishing poem publishing crew or poem publish poem reviewing crew right or poem metadata reviewing crew some kind of other crew which does some more stuff on the poem right or a story writing crew right or a, a essay writing crew right so let's say you are some kind of english lover and you wanted you create you create an ai agent that can write poems stories and essays so you can have multiple crews which can do that stuff for you you don't you don't have to just create one crew and put all the agents inside that crew okay so like this you can work with flows so let me just save it and let me just so i'll go inside this uh, sample flow and i'll paste it crew ui flow kick off as soon as i do that first of all okay yeah it is going to like um, install all the libraries because i created a new folder and definitely it will ask me to put the api key also so i'll do it don't worry so it failed and it asked me for the api key so i've added my uh, api key uh, gemini api key or open api key and now let me try to clear it and run it again now let's see running the flow uh, crew execution started and let yeah so over here it is starting uh, starting flow execution poem flow id 
and there are no tools so, so next thing is flow started with this id generating the sentence count generating the poem now my crew uh, got triggered the poem uh, writing crew so crew poem writer this was the agent you only had one agent write a poem that how about how crew is awesome ensure the poem is engaging and adheres to the specified sentences count of five okay then this is the agent it uh, completed a task this is the final answer one two three four five and then the crew uh, like status is completed assign uh, like the agent status is completed task is completed and then crew is completed okay then this is the final output and after that we do not have anything and then finally it it would have saved the poem let's see so this is poem.txt file which got generated by the third function of my flow and i can see my poem over here okay so like this i would highly recommend you that go ahead and create two more crews for story writing for essay writing build this complete project see if you are getting all the outputs and then you can push it on linkedin and uh, say that hey i am i created this my i created my first flow on crew ai and you can thank me also okay so the code will be in the description i i just used a sample boilerplate code i did not write any code in this video so you can also go ahead and use this documentation read it because i also learned flow by reading this page itself so i'll highly recommend you to read it till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot